I hadn't had the clarity. And so this is why growth, maturity, and listen to this, being put in a position to hear the truth, because that's how you come, that's how you start distinguishing. If you don't hear it, you can't recognize it. Think about this. There are some people who call your house, and when you call, you just go to talking, because you already know who it is. Because there's a relationship. You, you've been around them enough. You can recognize their voice. You, can, you, you know. But there's some people, you got to, they go to talking like, but hold on, who is this? Because you're like, y'all don't even recognize. And so if we don't get that recognition of the gospel, we're going to hear all kind of voices and not be led on this continual path. So we have to be conquered. By his, and listen to that word, omnipotent. What does omnipotent mean? All powerful. He overcame resistance. He overcame blindness. He overcame deadness. He overcame darkness to reveal his glory. And if, if you don't see the glory, you ain't been saved. You got to see him in his glory. Cause, cause, right. Because listen, the conquering produces the voluntary. Think about this. <clears throat> Think about a horse. There are some horses, you better not get on that horse. Don't ride. That is a wild machine. But there is a process that they must go through, the horse trainers, where they break horses in to be where you can sit a saddle on top of him and you can let a kid sit on this horse and because he's been trained in the way he is going to when you turn his head it's going to be good bless you sis when you turn his head he going to turn you he's been trained listen to this let's stay here for a second then we got to get this a horse that has been untamed is dangerous. It is, it, it is, it, think about a horse is like 2,000 pounds, full of muscles, and if you're going to sit on top of something weighing 100, 200 pounds, that's 2,000 and that can do anything, buck you off, all of that, you, you that ain't a good look. <laughs> but what God must do is he tames the wild creature, the beast in us. Think about this. We become new creatures in Christ. And when I become new, meaning here I have been saddled by his grace. He is able to now steer me. And the bucking is over. I have, I have even, I'm still a strong horse. I'm still 2,000 pounds full of muscles. And I can go off if I want to go off left to myself, but there has been a training element that has put me under submission to now he can ride me. I guess I'm looking at this and I, I underline those words, voluntary bondage, mm -hmm. liberty of willing, willing captivity, surrendering, and then conquer. So to me that seems kind of like in reverse order. I mean, I walk in there. so. Do you conquer me first, and then I come in and know what I'm supposed I, I just kind of like, okay, here, take me. Or do I like, okay, I know something is over there. The spirit moves me. You see what I'm saying? Think about I'm not, it. I'm not sure which one comes first. Do okay. You voluntarily do it. Well, see. Or is the spirit helping you to do it? Or you conquer it by the grace, and then you do it? You'll never do it unless you've been conquered. That's, and again, those three things are all fruit from being conquered right. by his omnipotent saving grace. And that's why omnipotent got to stand out. It is a power above our power. Okay. It, it does, and again, what happens is, before I seen him in his glory, I did it my way. I resisted him. I didn't think he was that special. I ain't going to line my whole life up with him. I might go to church every now and then, but be captive to where, listen to this. Now my thoughts. Before, I was saying before, um, before I used to smoke weed, I had no problem. Mentally, like, smoke weed, feel bad. Now, uh I'm partying, laughing. But after he had came, trying to do that, that ain't working. There was a conviction now by the Spirit saying, get back over here. 
Here's the reins being, he has saddled me now. And what he's doing is taking me through a process to break me of my way and put me into his way. And so listen, the more, listen to this, the more I see him and I understand who I've been conquered by, the more I experience in my soul the benefits of him having awakened me and not left me in my resistance, but overcame my resistance and brought me into tremendous eternal treasure, thankfulness happens. And now when thankfulness happens, I gladly will serve. What do you want me to do? I will do this. That's a different kind of serving if I'm serving based upon trying to keep the rules, I'm trying to keep everything right. I'm trying to earn my way. And so that's the distinction that has to happen. I get conquered by grace as I'm broke by his spirit. Now I go into living for him. You can't live for him until you've been broken. You won't follow him until you've been conquered. He's not Lord yet until he's conquered your heart and you're captive to him. Think about it. When the Holy Spirit has come, you can't get away from him. No matter where you physically go, he's in here. He's talking. He's convicting. He's challenging. He's incur like he is on the inside when he's come by his spirit. Else, if he hasn't come down on the inside, it's just head information. You're trying to keep up with it. I'm trying to, it's like a job. I got, here's the manual, the job rule, you know, like I'm trying to, that's different than on the inside being conquered and being told what to do. And that's that separation between the law and the gospel on that end. Conquered by his grace. What does it mean to be conquered, though? Conquered. Just think about an army going into another territory and they conquered them, took over. I'm no longer in charge. I'm a captive. They take me as prisoner. Listen to this. But the change in terms of this, in a natural sense, I don't want to go. But here is the willing submission. I will gladly go. Thank you for coming in to capture me, even though I thought I was in freedom. You came into my territory, took me out of that. And took me, and I don't really know where we're going, but what I'm hearing along the way and who I'm seeing you to be, the one who has captured me, I want to go. At first, the thing that kept me part of the way of not trying to do the church thing, as I called it, was I got to give up all this. I can't come to church be doing this. I, know, I got enough sense to know this and that don't mix. And so part of it was I didn't want to give up what I thought was my freedom. But this was really my damnation. This was really bondage. And true freedom was, freedom was following him who is my freedom. He is my liberty. And now I've been set free. Listen to this. And that's a, I see it. Do you get that? Like I got I, I to gotta see it. I was in captivity, but I was seeing this as freedom. I got to see a transition that this is death. This is death. Destruction, please. How many of you have ever heard about, maybe have read, The Pilgrim's Progress? That's that whole book is about. Everybody over here is going to die. I got to get out of here. What can I do to escape this judgment? And he was broken by that sight of that revelation, and he was begging and pleading. Now when the word came, his antennas was up because he was looking for an escape route. This won't do. And I, I don't know where to go, but I know it ain't this. See, that's the first thing God does in his holiness. He comes and he crushes all of that. And now he begins to open up a view of all of this. And the crushing and the exposing of this is what produces a willing submission to leave fire and go into freedom. Think, I say. Think about somebody in a house that's about to burn down. I know I'm trapped in the room. It's on fire. I can't get out. The people bust in the room to come get them. How stupid is it for them to say, uh-uh, leave me alone. I ain't going. But because I see this situation, I will willingly, matter of fact, I'm going to jump on you when you come in. So you can carry me out. And here's that violent because I've been conquered. Listen, by the revelation of my circumstance. Christ has showed me that ain't it. 